previously on Hardcore Skyblock. Okay, you know what? Actually, just stop throwing instant damage at me. Because I just died in my Hardcore world. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Speaker, if you died in Hardcore Minecraft, how are you still here? Well, the answer to that is simple. I'm enjoying this series, and you guys are too. And considering I'm as close to a uh, higher power as this little domain will get, my opinion is the one that matters, so I'm going to be continuing it. However, with an additional rule. Instead of just one hardcore life, we're going to have three hardcore lives. We only have two lives left. So to start out this episode of Hardcore Skyblock, I need to take care of our problem. Who has still not th stopped throwing potions at- okay, rude. She's dead. Perfect. Now, the unfortunate thing is, if we want to convert these guys right here into normal villagers, we still need a potion of weakness. And with the witch gone, there's only one way to get it. We need to head into the nether and take on the nether fortress. So we're going to bridge our way on over and hope no gas spawn. Okay, now that we're here, we need to be very careful because the last thing I need is for a blaze to shoot us off our little platform. I already lost one life, I don't feel like losing another. We'll just make this platform a little bit safer and break into the little nether fortress. Oh, there's glowstone. Okay, let's just take this nether wart with us and the soul sand so we can farm it in the overworld and then get out of here with this glowstone. Now, hopefully if we go far enough away, some blaze will start to spawn, and I'm going to use that space to repair this walkway a little bit. The reason we need blaze rods is because we want to make a potion of weakness, and to do that without a witch, we need a brewing stand, which can be crafted with a blaze rod, and blaze powder to actually power the potion process. Looks like we got a couple spawns, but they weren't blazes. Luckily, I can take these guys out with my bow through this gap. Is that everyone? Nope, there's one guy still in the back. All right, no blazes, but hey, we might get a wither skeleton skull or something. Oh, that that's a blaze. That is absolutely a blaze. Okay, buddy, I need you to move so I don't accidentally kill you. So that would be un... Do not shoot me. Please do not shoot me. Okay, get away from that pig one so I don't die. Oh, there's two blaze rods there. Two blaze rods is actually all I need for now, so I want to get out of this incredibly dangerous situation. Do you want to go back in there? Okay. Uh, and we're going to head back to the overworld. Alright, I'm going to dump off our blaze rods in here for safekeeping, and then, as well as our nether wart, which we'll set up a farm for in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to take a little bit more cobblestone, and we're going to bridge out to this island over here, which, if you can just barely see, is a mushroom fields biome. Which, luckily enough, and, you know, coincidentally enough, has, whoa, my god, has mushrooms on it. Which is one of the things I need to brew a weakness potion. You see, a weakness potion uh, is brewed by using sugar, which I can get from the sugar cane I have growing here, a spider eye, which I can get from my mob farm, and a mushroom, which I can only get from over there. So, we need to do some bridging real quick. Luckily, because it is a mushroom fields, we're not going to have to worry about mobs spawning on the mushroom fields, so we'll be significantly safer. And would you look at that, we're here. I'm not going to worry about making a platform underneath it because I don't need this dirt yet. We're just going to take the mushrooms, leave behind a torch, and walk all the way back to our island. And oh, aren't those shadows cool? Wait a second. I really hope my villagers are still there. Oh, thank God. Okay, so with the blaze rods and the mushrooms acquired, here's what we're going to do. We're going to craft up a brewing stand, put in some blaze powder, grab one of the spider eyes we have in our mini mob drops, make a fermented spider eye, and I just remembered I don't have any water bottles. Rip. Okay, where can I get glass? Do I have any sand at all? The answer is no. So it looks like we're going to be on another bridging session to get out... Where's the sand island? Way, 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 way over there. Okay. Well, you know, I kind of thought I was done with the bridging for this episode, but I guess not. So let's do a really quick bridge time lapse. Okay, we are at the desert, and I need to be very careful not to touch any of these sand blocks. 
while I'm building our little platform here. Because if these fall into the void, which they will because there's nothing supporting them, we're going to have to go back to the witch plan. I don't like the witch plan. Alright, with that all sealed off, I guess we just break the sand. Yep, oh, and that's exactly what I was talking about. And would you look at that? We got some cactus as well. Alright, we'll just smelt up a little bit of that glass. I believe I only need three pieces and stash the rest of it. Because we need to craft up some glass bottles. Luckily, we get three out of that. I'll just fill them with water. And put them in here. And I think that's it. We should get a weakness potion out of that. And I'll add some gunpowder to make it splash. All right. Here it is, the reason we literally died. We're gonna convert these guys into regular villagers. Get splashed, and take this. Now, I really, really hope that they don't uh, kill each other if one turns back too soon. But while we're waiting for that, and while they're shivering away, I'm gonna turn some of these bones that we've gotten from our mob farm into bone meal and farm up some more potatoes because I'm running low. Might as well do some wheat while we're here. It'll be a good food for the villagers when we breed them. I will take this time to say, hey, if you're enjoying the series, consider subscribing. I'm enjoying it a lot and judging from the comments on previous episodes, you guys are too. So if you wanna help support the channel, uh, we just very recently passed 8k, and it would mean a lot, so subscribe, or else. And no, I will not be elaborating. Oh! Oh, please don't kill the other guy. We did get one, though. That is amazing. Once, the, once this guy turns, I'm going to expand this platform a little bit so we can set up a villager breeding station. I'll throw it out of symmetry, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Come on, buddy. Amazing. Phenomenal. I love you guys. You guys are gonna fuck so much. Let's expand this platform a little bit. Make it safe. And then let these guys out of there. I was gonna say cage, but this is a boat. Oh, that scared me. You scared me. Okay, you two come over here, because I need to craft up a couple beds. Luckily, we've gotten a fair amount of string from our uh, spiders, so I think I should be able to make a decent amount of wool. Just enough for two beds, which I'll put over here. All right, with our third bed in place, we can start breeding these guys. And to do that, I think all I need to do is give them some bread. Oh. Wow, okay, we got hearts immediately. That's huge. Please give me a child. In video game, not real life. I'm, I'm like, not ready for that. <laughs> did you, did you, baby, child! Hello, I'm gonna kidnap you. <laughs> and while you grow up, we'll get these guys back to breeding. And you know what? On day 25, one quarter of the way to 100 days, I think we'll sleep away our first night. All I need is three. Three total. And then you guys can just live for a day or two. That is enough of a child for me. Oh, what do you think, fellas? You got one more in you? For six bread? Or did you just shake your head at me? What, are baked potatoes too good for you? Huh? Do I need to get you more bread? More bread it is, I guess. One more child and we're almost to an iron farm. You know what? That works for me. And I don't have a boat on me. Actually, you know what? You can just grow up there. Okay, while we wait for all of them to grow up, uh, I need to remember how to build an iron farm. <laughs> right, I just finished the lunch of a uh, European peasant. Just bread and cheese. So now it's time to build an iron farm. And to do that, I need to clear out all this stuff here. Don't worry, we'll rebuild it somewhere over there, but for now, we need to make the iron farm. Luckily, this is a very simple design by ENX04, and it came together really quickly.
All right, with these beds in place, the only thing left to do is to lure our grown-up villagers into place once night falls, and then lure our zombie in as well. And hopefully this thing should kick right off. Let's get a couple campfires in place as well. I am several short. All right, I need you two to come with me. Oh great, it's nighttime and it's raining. That's surely not a horrible omen. Okay, buddy, let's hope you go to your bed up there. Come on, don't be an idiot. I'll take that. All right, head up to your bed. Be safe. Okay, I need one of you. Come on, just one of you. All right, why don't you head on up? All right, let me just eat and let out this unfortunate fellow. Get in the boat. Oh, thank God. I already hear it, Gollum. That's amazing. Let me just try to do this without dying. All right, hopefully that was a good sign. Let me just break all this so no extra golem spawn and kill our guy. And hopefully this is all working now. That was nerve wracking. <laughs> I've died building one of those in a hardcore world before. Oh yeah, that's what I like. And would you look at that? Our first three iron, that is actually huge. Okay, let's get our the rest of our campfires into place. And in e eventually when we get enough iron, we'll put some hoppers and chests here, but Seeing as that's all we've got for now, folks, I think that's a wonderful place for us to stop because now we have unlimited iron in our hardcore skyblock world, which means next time we can get started on setting up villager breeding and villager trading, which is just the start of it all. So, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my content, you'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy this video right here. I've been Speaker Pool, and I will catch you on the flip side. Later. Okay. Bye. Subscribe. Let's, let's get this last iron.